Well, what's up YouTube this is Oblivion Duelist X and today we're gonna be doing a little video um I would like to thank you Bell Mastery for allowing me to have a guest load on his channel and this is for people to um help us start building decks now for the sake of uh, January 1st 2015 ban list we're gonna do this we're gonna do mermails since gun went to three now this is I would like to call format shifting now um this is when I take decks from a different format totally different format for people this is for people who don't want to net deck and don't want to feel like complete net deckers so uh it, as you can see here I have Sahabi Carradine's ARG 20k uh, mermail deck profile that he won first place with now we are going to shift it to January 1st ban list and we're going to make it our totally own deck okay and you're wondering how can you do this well it's simple um soul charge isn't at three anymore so we'll just change that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze consistency now um and analyze the format the format is consists of Cleefort, burning abyss and shadows now what you want to do is completely maximize consistency so three undyne isn't good anymore so we'll cut that out as we notice there is one infantry uh in this format you'd probably want more one more infantry just add one more uh you can add another one if you feel like it and the the thing about mermails is the deck size does not matter it can be 50 it could be 60 it could be any like num the deck could be 80 if, <laughs> if that was possible and it would still be good and then what we're gonna do is then we're gonna analyze the fact that um soul charge is at uh, at one and that gun that went to three now we're gonna take mermel biz gun and add her in here see wasn't that easy now what we're gonna do is because Mullen Glacia is not good in this format analyzing the format but if you pick out someone from the burning abyss hand and you get two of their monsters you're gonna feel like crap at the end of that so take that out and as you can see Lind is at two in his build Lind would be better at three in this format just because best floater in the game now we'll put Lind back there alright as you can see this deck looks pretty good right now and is playable in this format now what you're gonna do you're gonna see, as you can see, yeah. And then uh, now, upstart goblins are in here. And if you would like this specific build, and then we're gonna analyze the extra deck. As you can see, we have black rails, cool. Leo, cool. Abyss dweller, cool. Degusto emerald. This format is a little bit too slow for Mermail specifically. I'm not saying Daigusta Emerald is bad, but for Mermails to run this card. So we're going to take that out and we're going to edit it a little bit later. Exton Knight. I'm not cool with Exton Knight because you can only use it against one deck. And you barely make a ring for it. Ghost Trick Alcar is okay. Um, Chain is too slow right now. I'm just being honest. Um, and Draco Sat cool. Engineer cool. And then Guy's cool. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Now what I'm gonna do is add a Gungnir. Okay. Uh. Oh shoot. And then we're gonna place Gungnir down here. And then we're gonna make. Uh, we're gonna add. I'm gonna add. Um. What's what's that new card called? Oh yeah, Yazi. Yazi. It's freaking freaking bomb. Love Yazi, he's so sexy. See him? Ooh, yeah. Now look at this right now, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in one more Abyss Dweller because uh, Abyss Dweller is key in the Burning Abyss matchup. And yeah, you would lose without Abyss Dweller. Now Rhapsody and Berserk, I mean, it's okay, it, it's not bad, but I'd rather like switch it out for something. Like, hmm, like what would be good to take out and switch out for a um what, what do you guys think would be good um me personally I want a second Giles like cause I've ran into many situations where I've just needed that second Giles so we're gonna take out Rhapsody and put in oh, no oh whoa did I forget about Master of Blades yes I did so we're gonna take out oh, Rhapsody and Berserk we're gonna put in Master of Blades. Sorry, I make so many mistakes. 
it, it's just yeah um so we put in master blades extra deck looks fine now this build looks absolutely perfect now I'm gonna take a picture of this and we're gonna put it in the description so for people that want to use this deck now um since Gunda is at three we want a lot more discard out look the video is about to be over in a minute so you guys don't have to hear my voice again what you do is you take out the upstarts and then I want discard out outlet, outlet so I want Phoenix wing one blast I want karma cut and all I need left is divine wrath and yeah so yeah that's deck shifting guys yes yeah, this is what I do all the time like I've done it with even tell it that I've done it too uh, it's not as competitive as it once was you literally can't play a lot of those cards like royal oppression <laughs> um yeah but yeah guys so uh leave in the comment below a uh, like uh subscribe to you bell mastery subscribe to my channel i'm sure it'll be in the description below and thank you and have a nice day um bye